We heard how Meghan and Harry both met their respective in-laws and they all seem to be getting on a treat, but not everyone is quite so lucky. So we've opened our phone lines and Deirdre's here to take your calls now. Welcome to Deirdre. Uh, let's speak to Kelly first of all. Hi, Kelly. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, so tell us what's been going on in your life. You've been married for four years and you've got a 10-month-old yeah. son together. Yeah. And how's your relationship um, with your in-laws? Uh, basically, it was really good to start off with, but then um, she just started to get involved in everything and kind of parent, like, is it, our is this your mom -in -law? Yeah. Okay. Um, and at first, it, like, it wasn't too bad, but then she was, like, taking over, like, oh, um, he needs this much milk and he needs to go to bed at this time. And it was just like, you're not his mum. And it just completely, like, it was causing arguments between me and my husband. And then... I remember one time I'd fed him and she was like, no, he hasn't had enough milk. She gave him milk without my permission and he threw up everywhere. Oh, no. And Does your I husband just... see this? <clears throat> Has he logged he's, it? Uh, he's a mummy's boy, so he doesn't really see it as much and he doesn't really think that she's doing any harm. Yeah. And also but it's difficult it... because she thinks she's trying to help. She's not doing anything nasty or mean. She's doing I... it with the best intentions to try and help. I've but, got to say that as a grandma, but, I do find it extraordinary that, that your, your husband's mum doesn't realise that she should be backing off here. You know, you're the mother, you should be making all the decisions. Ideas about parenting have changed quite a lot, especially about how you look after babies. You put babies down a different way now from how you used to put them down yeah. in my way. It is very important. Start with your partner, I think, and your husband, and have a talk with him and say, you know, this is really upsetting me. I think what's happening at the moment is you get wound up. Do you get a bit snappy with her? Oh, definitely, yeah. Yeah. It's understandable. <coughs> and you need to try and get in at an earlier stage of your feelings than everybody else's. So talk to your husband and say, you know, I know you find it difficult because you're used to your mum running everything, but it's very difficult for me. I'm, you know, I'm the mum. I've done a lot of learning about how to look after our little boy. And, you know, I really, it does have to be done my way. And your mum should only be stepping in when I say it's OK to step in. She shouldn't be taking over. That's really inappropriate. And really try and get him on board and say, what we need to do is have a chat together with your mum do it together so it's in a non-threatening, <coughs> non-angry way before you get to the stage of feeling snappy. So get him on board and then both of you together, talk to your mum and say, talk to his mum and say, you know, I know you really want to help and it's great and we love you being supportive and that's really good. But, I, you know, I find it very stressful when you're trying to tell me to do things differently from how I've been told how to do them, you know, probably by the midwife and at the clinic and everything. So really, can we just agree that I make the decisions first and then I will ask you if I want you to do something helpful like change the nappy or take him out for a walk or whatever it is. Do you think do you think your husband will listen to that? Um personally I don't think he will because um I've tried to speak to him in the past about it but he just completely I mean he sticks up for his mum which makes me even more angry. Of course and it I think, does. really hard. <coughs> yeah, so you I think have to... like a first time mum it's like you you know you, you're scared if you're doing this wrong and also, you have to hold on to those instincts you have as a mum. Like, you, that is yeah. such an important thing, and don't lose sight yeah. of that as well. Yes. I, think, it's I think no one knows my baby better than I know him. Mm -hmm. Of course. And it's kind of, you know, it's just... I think it's, so got, you, it's got to be diplomatic. You right? need she's, to got be, to, she's got to be made to back off, but yes, in the nicest has, possible and way. And you have to learn to be more assertive. I don't know if you know about assertiveness techniques. So maybe I'll come and talk to you some more off air about how you do that. But, you know, rather than just getting into a row with your partner and he just goes, oh, no, it's all all right, you learn how to just hang on in there and say, I know you may think this, but, you know, it upsets me when, you know, and you just, it's called the stuck record technique, and you just keep saying the same thing. And he will, in the end, he will hear that it upsets you and it's in his best interest as well as your baby's that, you know, the women in his life are in accord and it all gets a lot smoother. Yeah. Thanks, Kelly.